It is incredibly easy to reroll in CCC thanks to the generous launch rewards. I've tested this three times and I was able to get 60 to 70 plus summons in just 40 minutes. So this guide will cover not only the fastest route to get the most summons, but also the tier list for the summons, those of which I consider the best to go for. So let's get started. Zenless has a bunch of unskippable cutscenes so you just have to sit through this one. But one important thing to note is that Wise, the male MC, has a faster run speed, so it's possible to save some time if you pick him instead of Bell. Whenever you see this menu icon appear, you should always press the start button to skip. This will save you a ton of time. As soon as gameplay starts, you want to keep dashing and attacking with Envy. This part is pretty basic, just keep going through the motions. And as soon as Billy joins your team, he will be a vital part to your speed run. Make use of his dash attack to do constant AoE physical damage, and since he is physical, he can do assault damage with still 25% of the enemy's health, no matter your attack, making this very, very important. And if you have Billy active at this point, his ultimate will clear out the entire room, making this a breeze. Lastly, for the boss, you want to mainly focus on using Billy in order to build up Assault and only use Envy to help stun the enemy for an easier time. And be sure you pick casual here in order to have the enemies with less HP for faster clears. Once we enter the TP zone, make sure you always have the fast forward option selected. This will save you a ton of time. So you should always aim to use Billy's ultimate to clear out rooms faster. Before taking on the next quest, I highly recommend you take your mail and get your free Corrin as she would be a great boss killer, especially early on in this rebuild run.
be sure to raise this all the way to level 10. You'll see why at the end. Be sure to level up your core into 10 here as she will be vital in this speedrun process as she is a great boss killer with her assault build up capabilities. So the strategy is, when there are groups of enemies, use Billy and his AoE attacks, but when it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, switch to Corrin and abuse her chainsaw to build up Assault along with Billy and Ambi to stun as well. As you can see here, I kept on a boss with Corrin. I didn't switch and I used her ultimate to just mow down the boss. Just follow my path thing here, we don't have to fight every enemy on this map. Take 10 seconds to eat this meal as this buff applies for the next 3 battles which will help your speed in the long run. You may as well grab all of these while we're here, as we will need these in the future.
for this fight, Billy and Nicole will be your friends. Just spam the AoE attacks to make quick work of this. Don't worry about taking corruption here. This would be a breeze. Just focus on using Corrin as well as Billy to build up Assault as I will take a huge chunk of life out of the boss. We can almost summon just a few more errands to run. Hitting the cat is probably the most difficult task of this speed run. Finally, events are open, so go to your events page to claim your 20 free summons as of this recording. Before summoning, go back to your primer to claim your final reward. And also go to your enter knock level to claim two more summons. And with that, we still have 44 tapes total. Make sure you summon on the standard banner so you can summon five times with 44 tapes and with a few left over as well. And if you don't like the results, it's easy to create a new account. You can do it via email or with any social media account or any Google account at that. So you have plenty of options. And don't worry, it's not against TOS. 
And once your five multis are done, go to the signal shop to purchase six more for your final 10 pool. And if you get lucky on dupes, you could probably even purchase some encrypted tapes to roll on Ellen's or any other limited banner for a total of 70 summons. Now you may be asking, who should I roll for? My personal two best picks would be Reyna and Lycaon. Lycaon is an amazing stun DPS, probably the best in the game. And Reyna can give her entire team penetration percentage, which means enemies take more damage as you penetrate defenses. Besides that, any other S rank agent is also very viable. The soldier with her amazing fire DPS capabilities, Nikamata and her speed and assault capabilities, Grace with her shock damage and anomaly application. Cleta is a great option for a fire stun DPS. You can't go wrong with any, but the two meta units right now would have to be Reyna and Lycaon. Anyway, I hope this guide helped and I wish you the best of luck on your rolling. Peace.